In today's video, we're going over the 1970 Mustang, which will be coming to Greenville in a future update. I believe the next one, and well, yeah, has a very sleek design. We'll be going over three trims today, but I'm currently only going to cover the one for this part of the video. Then we'll obviously cover the others. So yeah, as a Mustang owner, I love Mustangs now. I used to hate them. I used to refer to them as trash cans. I still do sometimes just to be funny. But yeah, I've honestly grown respect for Mustangs and Mustang owners. They're not as bad as I thought they were. So uh yeah this thing looks so nice i love how the taillight textures are like really crisp honestly if you guys look here let me uh taillight there you go pretty crisp and the headlight textures are also really nice as you can see so yeah very nice classic car mesh right here and i think this is actually t i think this was actually in the gv trello a long time ago but it obviously got remeshed by rotary so i'm not sure what trim this is but the following trims are uh the boss 302 the 429 and the mach 1 so uh yeah if you guys can tell just <laughs> let me know but yeah here's a startup on this trim So yeah, that's a startup. There's kind of like a tease of an idol. Hopefully there's going to be an idol in game when it comes out. I'm not sure yet. So uh, yeah, hopefully it works. I think so though, because Hunter said uh, idols are only in game. So, you know, hopefully it works. Yeah, but anyway, uh, here's how it sounds. Has that deep rumble. We have our headlights. These look sick. Our running lights. We also have our brake lights. Our hazards. And our hazards in the front. And our reverse lights. So fully neon lights in this thing. So sick. I love it. Oh yeah, here's the horn. Come on, here's how she drives. Let's see if we can do like a burnout maybe. I'll try my best here. Uh oh yeah, a little bit here. I think first gear would be better for it. So yeah, there's like a little bit, a little bit of shake and bake, but not much. Alright. Pretty sick though. This thing's so fun to drive already. We're gonna take it on the Greenville Drive here to kind of do like a zero to sixty test here. And technically a zero to top speed test. We'll do a brake test too. So uh yeah, here we go. Get onto the road here, do a little P break. Oh, that's so nice. All right, here we go. All right, here's a speed test. Oh yeah, pick it up. There you go. And it's gonna be a four speed with a top speed of about 138 miles an hour, I can see. And well, after this hill, we'll do the braking test. So uh, yeah, here's the braking test. Holy cow! I don't know the voice cracks there, but <laughs> that braking is really good for a car this old. That was actually really impressive. On the way here, we're going to go this way, come back over here, uh, and to go over our next car, which uh, is definitely my favorite of the bunch of the three. It's definitely my favorite of the three that I'm going to be reviewing because it's definitely my favorite color. It's a blue one, so uh, yeah, it's just parked right outside here, I believe. Yeah, here it is. So yeah, I'm not sure if this is the Mach 1 or not. I have a weird feeling that it is, but I'm not sure, but yeah. Here's how it looks. Thing looks absolutely sick, honestly. I love how this thing looks. Look at it. It's so nice. So yeah, this has the same livery as this, I believe. Oh no, this is a little bit of a different livery, as you can see right there, compared to right here. So uh, yeah, each trim that I'm going over today has a unique livery. This also has honeycomb in the back, as you can see, while this one is paint match. So looks so sick, honestly. As a startup right there, we'll go over our headlights, which are a little different in the front. As you can see, there's two extra, like, I don't even know what you would call those right there. And then uh, running lights, our brake lights, our hazards, hazards in the front, which those also light up. That's so sick. <laughs> and our reverse lights. Here's that sounds. And here's our horn. So yeah, but anyway, let's pull this out of here. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, all three of these absolutely haul junk. Like these are really fast, honestly, for how old they are, and I love them so much. I currently own the Plymouth, I believe. Let me see if I can find it. There's like an old Plymouth that I own right now, which is really sick, honestly. It's really similar to these things, but I honestly think I would pick this over that, honestly, because it's just so much cooler. And Plymouth is kind of a boat, but obviously Mopars are known for that. So we yeah, got thing is a dream to drive, but the turning radius obviously is not the best. I don't know how I just went through a pole there. But anyway. There you go. We're gonna get on the road over here and do a uh, top speed run. So yeah, after this roundabout, we'll do it. But yeah, we'll actually change it to night to see how this thing looks at night. So we'll do time zero, and well, yeah, this is how it looks at night. Holy cow! Anyway, here is the speed test. So yeah, this actually has different exhausts. As you can see, they're like coming out the end straight instead of like dumping down. So that's really cool. But anyways, hopefully we can reach top speed at the end here. This looks at four speed and it gets up to about 137, so it isn't pushing 138. Oh, I saw 138. All right, here's a braking test. Whew. More phenomenal brakes right there. That is insane. This thing looks so good at night. I don't know. Did the GV devs make it dark? So anyways, the last car we're going over is over at the motel right here. I believe it's parked right over here. So uh, yeah, yeah, right here. There it is. All right, anyway, I'll park the Mustang right here. And well, yeah, this one doesn't really have a livery, except it does have like a roof scoop. 
does have a hood scoop right here that's blacked out, so uh, yeah, that's how it looks right here. Uh, paint mask in the back, kind of one of the more bland versions ones, kind of like, has like a toothpaste color, because that sounds. As a startup, yeah, this has the old style exhaust compared to the other one, which is right here, and well, yeah. We have our headlights right there, our running lights, our brake lights, hazards, and our reverse lights. Here's the horn. Anyway, it's like this thing out on the road. So yeah, all these seem to have relatively the same tune-ish, I mean. So, uh, yeah, but it's still pretty awesome, honestly. This thing seems to be the slowest of the bunch, though, except it's really quick accelerating, honestly. So yeah, here, we'll go here, and let's just uh, do a top speed test. So yeah, different gear ratios for sure. This thing has a slower top speed, so yeah, it's about a 4 speed, I believe. It gets you about 118, 118 miles an hour, his braking test. Those brakes are impressive. We had wheel spin at top speed there from the brakes. Anyways, guys, sorry for the short kind of video today. I don't have time really much to make a video. So, uh, yeah, but that's me. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you guys want me to review another car, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.